Hi, my name is Officer Ramirez, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay, you can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Okay, now I will need to take your fingerprints. If you can please place your right index finger on the fingerprint scanner. Okay, now your left index finger on the fingerprint scanner. Great. Now I will be taking your picture. Please pay attention to the camera. Three, two, one. One more. Please pay attention to the camera. Great. Thank you. Can I see your permanent resident card, your passports, and a form of ID? Just hold them up so that I can see them. Okay, you can put them away now. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Why not? Why have you never voted in the United States? Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? What is your complete name? What changes will you be making to your name? What names have you used in the past? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? Any other totalitarian party? A terrorist organization? Can you tell me what communism is? Have you ever advocated either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. No to all of them. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization? No to all of them. 
For this next part of the interview, I'm going to ask you 10 questions. You will need to answer six correctly to pass this portion of the interview. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? How many U.S. Senators are there? Who does a U.S. Senator represent? If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. What is one reason colonists came to America? Why did the colonists fight the British? Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Name one U.S. territory. Okay, great. You passed that part of the interview. Now, please pay attention to the tablet in front of you. You are going to see a sentence on the screen. Please read the sentence out loud. Now, on the same tablet, please write the following sentence. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Okay, great. You also approved that part of the interview. What is your current address? How long have you lived there? What is your previous address? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta. Ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. Why did you move? What is your date of birth? Where were you born? How long have you been a permanent resident? How did you become a permanent resident? Are your parents U.S. citizens? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail? Prison camp? Detention facility? Labor camp? Any other place where people were forced to stay? Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Can you please explain to me what a weapon is?
Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? What is your marital status? Have you ever been married? Have you ever been divorced? Were you ever married back in your country of origin? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Can you tell me what a crime is? Do you have any children? Do you have any children back in your country of origin? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Were you ever in jail or prison back in your country of origin? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard, been a prostitute, or procured anyone for prostitution? sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics, been married to more than one person at the same time, married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit, helped anyone to enter or tried to enter the United States illegally, gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling, failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony, made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States. Can you explain to me what a habitual drunkard is? Where do you work? How long have you worked there? What are some of your job responsibilities? Have you ever given any US government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any US government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? Where did you travel to? What was the purpose of this trip? And what date did you come back?
are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? In the last five years, how many trips have you taken out of the United States? In the last five years, how many days have you spent outside of the United States? What is one thing you plan on doing if you become a United States citizen? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? What is an oath of allegiance? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Okay, great. At this time, I'm going to recommend your application as approved. Congratulations. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.